This video requires some outside knowledge about Ethereum and the blockchain, but here's a little background info if you are completely new to the cryptocurrency world. Vslice is a smart contract, meaning that's a self-operating computer program running on the blockchain that executes specific actions when specific conditions are met. Therefore, it's basically a self-running app that operates on the Ethereum blockchain. The smart contract isn't just for self-automated games, but can also exchange money, property, etc. And since the smart contract runs on the blockchain, there's no censorship or interference by third parties. The Ethereum Virtual Machine, EVM for short, allows anyone to run any program on the Ethereum blockchain without having to create a whole new blockchain and enables the possibility that there can be many different applications on one platform. Ethereum is a decentralized platform and runs decentralized applications. These decentralized applications are called dApps, which are not controlled by any one person or institution, and vSlice is one of these. Now that we've gotten the background info out of the way, let's get back to what vSlice actually is. vSlice is the token of vDice, but to play the game vDice, you need Ether, since vDice is a smart contract on the Ethereum blockchain. Every smart contract or dApp on the Ethereum blockchain has to use Ether as the payment. However, developers are making a Bitcoin relay, which users can pay with Bitcoin to use Ethereum dApps, which is pretty cool. So why use vSlice at all? Since you can't play vDice with VSL, to understand, you have to understand the anatomy of vDice and the smart contracts that go along with it. VDice is a smart contract that's running on the Ethereum blockchain and is a betting game which can produce profits. For short, VDice is a gambling game with cryptocurrency. VSlice, aka VSL, is a meta token on Ethereum and operates with three smart contracts, which each handle a different job for token issuance. The first one is called the wallet smart contract. You pay, and now you're ready to receive your coins. The second one is called the token smart contract. How much you paid in the wallet smart contract determines how many tokens you get. And now you receive your tokens. How does the token contract know who to issue the token to? It identifies you via your Ethereum address. Now the token issuance phase is completed, which means that everyone got their tokens. After this phase, the total supply of the tokens can't be changed and the tokens can only be exchanged. To say this again, no more tokens can be issued. Now to the next contract, the Profit Container Smart Contract. The Profit Container Smart Contract has two parts. The first part moves value from the VDice game straight to the VSlice Profit Container. Think of this like commission for running the game. The second part references the token smart contract, the one that issues your coins and then it validates the token balance of the player, i.e. players that win, win money, and players that lose, lose the initial money they invested. So back to the question of why own vSlice at all. This relates back to the vSlice profit container. Some of the funds that vSlice has collected running the games is given to the vSlice owners. It's like a modified version of the Powerball. You're not personally the gambler playing the Powerball, but you're getting a little slice of the profits that the Powerball is making. Wouldn't you want a little piece of that money? The more people that play the Visa Ice games, the more money goes in the profit container, the more funds are being given to the V-Slice owners. There's the outline of the game and the engineering behind it. But when you play, what are you going to do if you win and make profit? To answer this, it gets a little complicated. Okay. So when you buy vSlice, think of yourself as a shareholder of the vSlice company. vSlice does not want you to buy VSL and then immediately sell it off, because it would be bad for the company. To understand this better, think of yourself as a worker at Goldman Sachs. On December 31st, they reward your hard work with a $15,000 bonus. Pretty awesome, right? But then on January 1st, you decide to work for JP Morgan instead. Goldman Sachs just lost $15,000. So to prevent this risk from you immediately leaving, Goldman says, 
You can get your $15,000 bonus as long as you stay until the month of May. So you'll probably stay, wanting to earn those extra $1,000, and then you leave. Same goes with V-Slice. You can't immediately cash your V-Slice in for profit. You have to wait first. This is called manual coin locking. To understand manual coin locking, think of yourself as a shareholder for four weeks. During your reign as a shareholder, your token contract can exist in two states. The first period is called unlocked and the second period is called locked. The unlocked period is when tokens are freely transferable, like giving them to another player, person, friend, but profit cannot be withdrawn and you cannot send your profit to or from exchanges. The second period is the locked period. During this time and only this time, profit can be withdrawn. And if you choose not to withdraw, then profits can be sent or withdrawn to the wallet contract. But if you fail to withdraw your profits, you lose your share of the profits, meaning you lose the money. Do not let your profits sit in the locked period. The duration of each period is determined at contract deployment. For an example, a shareholder will be in the unlocked period for three weeks and the locked period for one week. So after this whole video, why care about VSL? VSL is the epicenter of cryptocurrency and gaming. VSL is an important aspect of the game VDICE. And as of now, over 9,500 Ether has been won and over 39,000 bets have been made. And to play VDICE, you need no account. You can play from anywhere and payouts are nearly instant. To play VDICE, you send Ether to a game address a random lucky number is chosen, and you lose or you get your payout. The VDICE game platform is not only this game. VDICE is making more VDICE dApps, which means if you have VSL, it will become more valuable, since more people will want to play the new gambling dApps they are making. If more people play, the bigger the profit container grows, which will increase the money the owners of VSL will receive. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and follow my Twitter at Little Miss Crypto. Thank you for watching.